The sun has just gone down over Main Street. It's another Sunday afternoon in downtown Las Cruces. A sold-out crowd has gone home after watching The Mousetrap at the Las Cruces Community Theater. It's just a wonderful thing to be part of. It's like being part of a family. And Nika Zimmer plays the stiff, upper-lipped Mrs. Boyle. For me, it's really fun to play somebody who's just downright nasty. I mean, it's not something one should indulge in in an everyday life. <laughs> but in, on the stage, you can do that. Grandfatherly watch everything, make sure everything is just right, and try to tolerate persons like Mrs. Boyle. Gordon Smith becomes Major Metcalf in The Mousetrap. I felt like Terry Thomas sometimes, the British actor. Um, didn't do very well with the, the voice. He mumbles more than I do, probably. And uh, as Sill said, probably not as Southern. Um, but it, it was just fun being this character and trying to develop him over some weeks. And I think still developing over the performances. Well, acting lets you do things you might not do in real life. I'm a news reporter, but I can go and be Detective Sergeant Trotter. When I'm on stage, I can speak in a mostly British accent. There are some real characters in the play. Mr. Paravicini was certainly one of them. He's kind of a sleazebag, a manipulator, and those are his good points. Here's how Armando Sarabia says he prepared for his role. Uh, yeah, I just watched a lot of WWE and impersonated uh, pro wrestler Santino Marella. <laughs> there were two actors who had a bit of a head start preparing for their roles. One of uh, our friends goes, that's not acting, that's cheating. Rafael Medina plays Giles Ralston, husband to Molly Ralston. Molly, played by Marissa Bond, is engaged to Rafael in real life. An easy relationship to play on stage, maybe, but there are some tough scenes. The last scene was definitely the hardest scene to play. Uh, it's interesting, and perhaps this is just because I'm a hack, but it is very interesting how much uh, acting can take something emotionally out of you. Agatha Christie, known for her mystery novels, wrote this play that's now the longest running in history. It just celebrated its 60th anniversary. The play's director, Seal Herman, started out with this script. Which are words on a page. And by making choices during casting, you make co uh, choices which set wheels in motion so that things are moving in a certain direction. And from there on, the actors who you cast bring those words to life. And that's the exciting thing. You know, if you would cast a different group of eight people, it would be a different play. Christie wrote an entertaining script, but she went below the surface, too. One of the themes was childhood. Katie Holbert plays Miss Casewell and says being a kid is one of the reasons she loves acting. I get to play pretend still as an adult. Well, as I'm adult aged. I'm not a grown up. Um, so getting to play pretend still with other people and getting to learn from those other people who have far more skills than I do. Donnie Procis is not immature, but his character Christopher Wren certainly is. He probably says a little bit more than he should about what he thinks about everybody else around him. There's actually a lot of really talented actors in Las Cruces and it's a lot of fun to come together and you basically give birth to this production. Well, it takes a lot of behind the scenes work to be ready when the curtains open. Elizabeth Turner was one of those important people behind the scenes. Everybody gets the chance to learn and to, to take part in something and um, to do something that they haven't done before. Erica Valdez was another. She sums up what community theater is all about. It's not only bringing local actors together and directors and writers, but it's bringing the community together. It brings people who would not probably see each other on a normal day on the street. We bring them into one house and we get to put on a show for them. We get to take them on, on a journey and share our thoughts and ideas, share a laugh, share a moment. Sloan Patton, Care WG News.